Leo, what's up? And welcome to New Tarot. I am an energy and intuitive reader, and I'm here to do the general readings for the Leos. What's up, guys? I hope you guys had an amazing week. And yeah, let's just get right into a Leo. Um, I do want to say, hold on, because I went that this is shaking. Um, I do want to say that I have up uh, all signs reading about what you don't see coming. So if you want to take a look at that, maybe you should, you know what I'm saying? So you can see what is coming for you. Hold on, guys. I have, I'm just trying to adjust that because I changed my table, like the way that it is, because... Um, <laughs> I should have done this before, but whatever. Um, I changed the direction of the table because it was just like I, I feel like all the cards kept falling all out before. Okay, oh, that's gonna give me a hard time. All right, I'm sorry, guys. I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. Um, I will change it for the next video. I don't want to take up too much time. All right, Leo. So yes, I made a. Yeah, I, like that. I made an all signs video so you guys should go and watch that there you go it's better and um so you guys can see what's coming okay all right so leo let's just <laughs> get right into it uh sorry guys i have to buy a better stand okay leo let's see what kind of energy you guys are in let's see what's going on for the leo spirit leo leo empress Leo. Some of you guys could be nurturing something at the moment. Okay. Leo, Leo. Leo. It's too much cards. Leo. Leo. What do they have to know at the moment? Leo. Thank you. Bottom of the deck is the two of Gabriel. Okay. So what you don't see coming. Make a bold, ambitious choice. Great progress is possible. <laughs> Important relationships with people who share your vision. Underneath that is the four of Michael. Insights that come from quiet meditation, the need for more sleep or time off, seek relief from stress, and a gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration. The chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. So I feel like um, with the two of Gabriel here, there's going to have to be a choice you're going to have to make that you don't see coming, okay? And it's going to affect your important relationships in your life. Okay. I also feel like you guys are going to be kind of tired, kind of worn out as well. And then there's going to be something that's going to like spark your interest and your, your creative interest. Okay. Now let's talk about what you got. That's what you don't see coming out. Let's talk about what you got right now. Okay. So you got the five of Raphael. You got the five of Raphael and you also got the king of Ariel. Okay. So the five, five of Raphael says everything happens for a reason, reason, <laughs> release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness, search for the silver lining and the king of Ariel. Your plans are working out very well, professional and financial success using resources wisely. So I feel like there's something the five of Raphael translates to the five of cups in the regular tarot. So there's something that's making you really sad. You something that you feel sad about. OK, um, but. I do see that your money's doing good. <laughs> and I also feel like the King of Ariel is here to just indicate like, you know, the things are going out as 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 there's things are going the way they're supposed to be going. So whatever made you feel sad in, in a quick moment, don't let that don't let don't harbor on that emotion because things are still going the way they're supposed to go, right? And the five of Raphael here is saying everything happens for a reason, right? Looking for the silver lining. So if something happened, look at what didn't happen, right? It could have been worse. And also know that that had to happen. And if even though this happened, whatever it is that made you upset, you know, sad, reg regret feeling, um, whatever that is, you st everything is still going the way it's supposed to go, Leo. So don't stress yourself out, okay? Leo, Leo, spirit. What is Leo? 
good to know at this moment. Thank you. Oh, you're battling yourself about something. Somebody else, but... Sheesh. Sheesh. Okay. Bottom of the deck is a Ten of Wands. Okay, Leo. I feel like... I feel like I'm going to be, um, could we dealing with a Sag and Aquarius or a Pisces here. Bottom of the deck is a Ten of Wands, the Moon card, and the Ace of Cups. Okay, let's talk here. So, excuse me. The first one that came out for you was the Five of Swords. So there's some confluence, there's some, there's some disagreements going on right now, okay? Um... It could be with an Aquarius, but it doesn't have to be. Okay, we're going to clarify and we're going to see what that is. The Fool here. There's some new beginning here. There's something new that you have started, a new journey that you that you have leaped on. You're taking a leap of faith on something. We're going to see what that is in a bit. The Knight of Wands is here as well. So I feel like you, there's... um. This could be you. It's also Sagittarius energy. But you, you kind of have this um this passion, this courage, this ener this energy to like... To go and do something, this drive. And I feel like the drive is to start this new thing. You're just ready for it. You're like, yeah, I'm going head on. You see how he's like right going straight there. So that's what I feel. Okay. And then the four of cups. Four of cups here. There's something that you don't see coming. Okay. There's something that you don't see coming here. Um, there's something also that you're kind of like not really interested in as well bottom of the deck is the ten of wands the moon and the ace of cups i feel like you, there's you, you're very stressed out <laughs> what you don't see coming is you're gonna have a lot of responsibility not really stressed out it's just you're doing a lot you're doing a lot right now and you know things might look a certain way to you but that's not the way it's gonna look like that's why the moon is here there's illusions right now it might look more than what it is right and then you got the Ace of Cups. You're definitely pouring all your love and compassion into someone or something at the moment. Okay? Um, but you, you you will feel like you're doing a lot. You will. I do want to emphasize that. Um, but I do want to say that it, 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 it looks more, it looks crazier than it really is. That's what I want to say. Okay? So let's clarify somebody's cause to see what's up okay so yeah the five of swords let, let's see what the conflict is with the disagreement you got the five of swords and the five of Raphael, which translates to the five of cups here so the five of swords is all up in your mind it's yourself you're battling yourself about an argument you're still probably holding on to it whatever it is let's just see it's very, can, you, can you clear it's like i'm not even saying nothing and they hold on can you clarify the five of swords? Why is that five of swords here? Thank you. Okay. <sighs> to clarify the five of swords, I got the knight of wands, the fool card, and you got the queen of pentacles here. Okay. So there's something that you're um that you just that you started that's fresh, okay, fresh new, and you're nurturing whatever this is. You're taking care of it, okay. Um, you're also putting all your passion and creativity into it as well, okay. And I feel like that, and you're battling yourself because I feel like you might want it to be perfect, you know. Um, I have a lot of Leos in my family, so I do also have Leo in my chart, um, and I I feel like I I feel that you know you want it to be perfect it's a new thing right it's a new thing and you're just like i want it to be good i want it to be good all right bottom of the deck is the queen of swords the queen of cups and the two of cups i feel like you're being very like i'm not gonna say this very like smart about things very like hmm do i need that I don't know. I don't really know. Like you're really, you're really before you used to look at things, but now you're really looking at things, right? Like you're really looking at things. Um, with the two of cups here, I feel like you're trying to give more into yourself, more love and compassion into yourself from this argument or this conflict. I also feel like 
you guys are battling yourself because maybe you guys want to be so perfect and you want everything to be so great but it's like the more you like don't try to be perfect leo okay this new thing that started that's in your life is for you already it ain't going nowhere okay so just take your time be easy with it because you don't want to stress yourself out or burn yourself out okay the fool spirit can you clarify the fool why is the fool here you got the fool here twice you guys definitely are in a new energy okay the hanged man to clarify the fool i got the hanged man so to me you guys are going through a spiritual awakening all right anything anytime there's um a yellow surrounding a person to me that indicates a spiritual awakening um or, sp or going through a spiritual process right um i also feel like this this new beginning has made you change your perspective okay bottom of the deck is seven of wands the five of cups and the four of cups i want to ask change your perspective on what definitely change your perspective on something we're gonna see i want to know what it is i want to be nosy leo all right spirit what did leo change your perspective on page of swords some communication that came in there could be some communication that came in or something that you You know, you want to start a new project. There was a new idea that you had, and you 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 kind of um, changing how you were gonna do things, changing how you were gonna do things. Um, the Emperor at the bottom, the Two of Swords, and the Nine of Swords. Yeah, um, you're just changing how you how you are gonna be doing things. Some new idea, something that came to you quick. Okay, Seven of Wands, Five of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. This new thing, you you had to have a lot of courage for it. Um, and I also feel like you had to protect yourself and kind of like go inside um, and, and just it's also left you kind of feeling like, why me? You know, I don't even know if I really want to do this. Um, not really if I want to know if I want to do this, but more like, you know, it's it's it, it it's more like you could be like thinking that it's going to be worse than what it is, is what I feel like. Spirit, can you clarify the Knight of Wands? Or I do not have wands here. Thank you. The Ace of Wands. And you got the Eight of Cups here. <sighs> yeah, you're definitely gonna get you're definitely going to get some clarity, some insight, right? Um You're gonna get some clarity and some insight on something. Sagittarius energy is here again. The Temperance, the Nine of Swords, and the Hierophant. I feel like you're going to get some clarity on a commitment or a spiritual practice or a belief that you have um, that you've kind of been like in the middle. Like you've been stuck. Like I, like I feel like there's like there's there's like a, a commitment or religion that you, you you're very used to. It's been in your life forever. But then also on the other side, there's spirituality, what you're trying to get into, what you're trying to see. Cause, and, and I feel like it's worrying you and you could feel regretful like that you you could be wanting to go from like religion to spirituality is what i feel and some of you guys could be feeling guilty about that right because you're just like I, all my life i've known religion and now spirituality but go for what your heart is telling you is what i'm going to say to you leo for others of you you're really stressing out about um some healing that has to be done from a healing that has to be done from something that has been <laughs> dwelling for a long time here okay um and and i feel like you're gonna get the insight that you need to heal something as well could be why you're going through this spiritual um could be why you're going through this spiritual like energy at the moment four of cups can you clarify the four of cups please spirit four of cups why is the four of cups here five of pentacles so the first card that came out was the strength card, Leo. You're, you came here to show support for yourself. And then the five of pentacles here. Okay. Very sad energy here. Um, you're not, I feel like you're not letting go of this lack mindset. This sad, why did you leave me out, left out feeling. Okay. And spirit is giving you the strength to remove that. The lovers card, six of cups, and the knight of cups. Yeah. 
I feel like um, there was there's somebody who you share a rare connection with here um, who was from your past, okay? Um, who was very romantic, manty, nicey, nicey person here. Um, and I feel like... I feel like they're, maybe that's the energy that kind of got you feeling left out. Maybe they're focusing on other things, their other family, whatever the case is, and you just feel kind of left out in a situation, all right? So let's pull some divine guidance cards for you here. Um, but what I'm going to say, Leo, is everything is going the way it's supposed to be going okay little arguments little tussles and fussles here and there is fine this new thing that you're starting um have confidence in yourself because you've got this this is definitely something very very new okay leo 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 Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Happiness. This new discoveries that lead to celebrations. Love yourself first. Pour into yourself at the moment, Leo. Pour all the love and energy into you at the moment, okay? Pay attention. Look out for signs from the divine, acknowledge red flags. Um, I feel like that has to do with the five of swords, right? Whatever whatever you argument you got within whatever which <laughs> I can't talk today. <laughs> whatever argument or conflict you got in with someone, look into that. See what is happening, right? Um, there's a red flag there that spirit wants you to pay attention to, okay? Also, they're talking to you through signs, synchronicities, music, so numbers. So just make sure that you're paying attention. And if you see like 77, 111, 1414, 36, 36, whatever, Google, take a quick Google search if you would like, just so you can get some insight. And these numbers and these things that you see is not is not coincidence, okay? Confession. Releasing a secret, pursuing virtue 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 through honesty. You got a secret, Leo. You got something you want to say. You got something you want to say. Okay? I don't see secrets here. I don't. Maybe that's because it was a, where the conflict started, right? Um, But I feel like there's something that you're not saying. Speak up, Leo. Speak it up. Divine timing. Everything has a higher purpose. Yeah, so everything has a higher purpose. Everything is meant to happen when it's supposed to happen. So don't, um, that's why you got the everything happens for a reason here card. Don't overstress it, okay? Everything is still working. Everything is still going the way it's supposed to go, even with this five of um, swords energy here, okay? Celebration! Celebrate! Mm, mm. Good times come from hard work, time spent in good company. Yeah, you, you're going to be around people who um, celebrate you in your energy, okay? Uh, you could be also be doing some celebrations. It is New Year's Eve today. And sacrifice. Giving up something now for a future reward. You might have to sacrifice something in order to get out of this Five of Swords energy. You will get out of it. But maybe you need to sacrifice something. Um, that could be the choice that you're going to have to make here, okay? That might stress you out a little bit. But... You know, if you need to sacrifice something, if you if it ends up being that you need to sacrifice something, do it, Leo. Okay, because it's gonna. Sometimes we need to sacrifice things now to get what we need and what we want later on. Which I don't feel like you guys will have a problem with that, to be honest. Okay, Leo Spirit, what's the advice here for Leo? What's the advice for Leo? Thank you. The age of light. You've been training this for lifetimes. So I feel this is here saying like this new thing that you're starting. It could be it could be freaking you out a little bit, right? It's a brand new thing, and you just like want it to be right. And you could be stressing yourself out a lot, putting a lot of pressure on yourself for it to be right. But this card is telling me you you've done this before. There's nothing to be scared of. There's nothing to be worried about. You got this. You got this. Okay. Bottom of the card. Bottom of the deck is yes. Just say yes. Just say yes. All right, Leo? 
Well, that's all that I have for you today. I hope this brought some clarity or some insight into your situation. And yeah, make sure you guys watch that video so you guys can see what's coming up. All right. Well, have a good day or good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.